Nairobi just got itself a brand new five-star hotel and it's real nice. Welcome to the Hyatt Regency Nairobi here in Westlands. Welcome to our room. You can tell that this is a brand new room. It smells brand new. Everything is just in its perfect place. It's amazing. I'm gonna show you the bathroom first actually because I love the color. It's actually, if people didn't know, that color is actually my favorite color. So it's winning me over. <laughs> Beautiful huge shower, amazing decor there, the mirror with the light, fantastic. Then we have our mini bar area here with our safe. But coming in, we have a king size bed. And these lamps, like I'm telling you, the color scheme is just a very different color scheme than you see in all of the hotels here in Nairobi. Fantastic. They even left us some sweets, which I'm very excited to try here in a second. We have a workspace here. And then where we're on the 10th floor, we have a fantastic view. Oh, Alto, I think they have the biggest TV in a hotel room that I've ever seen. <laughs> But as you can see, it's really, it's got that like clean aesthetic, minimalist, but still has everything you need and the decor pulls it all together. I love it. with a few goodies here. We've got some cookies, macaroons, and we even have some chocolate in there. I really want to try this though. So. Mmm. That's a pretty good macaroon for not being in France. <laughs> So let's head for dinner. I'm hungry and we're going to the main restaurant called Eat. And it basically stands for Eat All Together, but in an acronym, it spells Eat. What's the best dessert? Okay. I knew you were gonna say that. I hate coffee. I can't do that. <laughs> Not your fault. Not your fault. Okay, second best. <laughs> We just came back from supper, which was super nice. And yeah. don't get me wrong, we didn't try anything else yet, but the yeah. Indian food was on point. Their chef is actually from India, so come on. Once we heard that, we're like, okay, like- You we, have to try the Indian, Indian food. food. Yes. Um, so yeah, on their menu, they have a lot of different options too. They have India, Asia, and Mediterranean. Yeah. That was the other one. <laughs> a little so bit I'm of everything excited. from everywhere. Yeah, I'm excited. There's some more additional in there. I wanna try it tomorrow. So stay tuned for the rest of the food review and the rest of the hotel review, because tomorrow we're yeah. showing you around, but for now we're gonna chillax and then oh, maybe watch a little room, movie. This room is fantastic. <laughs> and I we're gonna it. see you guys in the morning. Good morning, Nairobi. A great night of sleep in a very comfy bed. Now let's go see what they have for breakfast because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Thank you. The restaurant is a super cool style. It's super nice. However, this little outside area, we love to eat outside. <laughs> Thank you. 
So breakfast is served and a few things. They have all uh, like your typical like you know egg station, sausage, bacon, toast, and everything. But the cold section is actually super impressive. They have a bunch of cheeses, like smoothie shots, yogurt, uh, smoked salmon, which I love. So that's very nice. And to be honest, if you've been on, uh, at another uh, IAT agency somewhere in the world, you know that food is always a little bit better than most other hotels. And for some reason, especially breakfast, their breakfast is always so good. The breakfast we had in Mumbai at the Hyatt was fantastic. Yes, uh, two days ago, we were actually at the Hyatt in uh, Qatar for breakfast. Fantastic. And here we are, the, the, the best cold options I've seen in a while. So, very happy with that. Mm. Mm. So one thing that I love is they have variety without being like overwhelming variety. So they have a lot of Indian dishes here too, um, which were fantastic. A lot of vegetarian dishes. This here, I don't think it's Indian, but it's sweet and sour tofu, and it is so, so good. So after a good breakfast, and before showing you guys around, we're gonna go for a little workout in the most impressive hotel gym I've ever seen in my life. And the AC is pumping in here. It's insane. I love it. So not only is this gym impressive for a hotel, they're actually planning on opening it up to have memberships for locals as well to be able to come into it. And I totally understand why. There's like a stair climber in here, which you never see in gyms too. You have lots of treadmills, ellipticals, and barbells, and all these machines. Normally when you go to a hotel gym, there's just like one, two machines, maybe two cardio machines, that's it. This is amazing. I'll dress for the day. Let's show you the rest of the hotel. Let's start down on the eighth floor, which is actually the lobby of this hotel. So on the reception floor, there's obviously reception right here. And then you have a large multifunction lobby here as well. So you can either come down here to work or you can grab a coffee. I say that because there's a grab and go little coffee station there. And then if you're a member of the Hyatt uh, membership, there's even a member's lounge on the side as well. And in the middle, you are in this grand atrium, which is absolutely stunning. The far end of the lobby is the restaurant Eat. That's where we've had the breakfast and dinner last night as well. So we come down to the seventh floor. It's the gym where we had a fantastic workout this morning. And then there's also something else on this floor which I really like the concept of it. So here at the swimming pool, the cool thing about it is that it's actually half in, half open. So you have the open air flowing in, which gives you a nice breeze, you're not too hot. And on top of that, the pool is temperature controlled. So it's in an L shape, you have a space for kiddos and then a space for adults if you wanna swim in a deep end, basically. <laughs> and then on the sixth floor, we have a lot of conference rooms down here. Let's go see. So all around the edge of the atrium are your conference rooms. And then in the middle here, it's kind of like your lunch space. If you come out have for a break, have some lunch, there's even a coffee station there, a nice place to chill and relax. level six we really want to show you it's not quite done yet so keep that in mind but we're gonna give you a quick sneak peek so this is district six a sports bar there are so many TVs in here that you can put different games on different TVs with a huge one in the back that can be like the match of the day or if there's anything big going on I think it's gonna be a really cool spot to be
So this place should be opening within the next month or so maybe and I feel like we're gonna have to come back just to review this place because it looks super cool. So what do you guys think about the Hyatt? To be honest, like it's, I think, after being to almost every hotel in this town, I think it's definitely one of the nicest uh, five-star hotel here in Nairobi. Like they have everything. So they're gonna be like, fully open everything 100 percent as of may that's yeah. what we've heard but you know like you can always inquire with them um about the facilities and everything yeah. but even as of right now like i mean the main restaurant is open the gym yeah. uh the pool i would say the only like big thing as just a normal customer coming is just the bar which yeah. should be open i think in a month or in a couple yeah. weeks yeah. um so just call them be like hey is it open i yet? can't wait to see that place <laughs> open hi just would like to place an order for room service for lunch Perfect. Um, can we have one chicken shish to walk? <laughs> can you say, what, what did I order? Chicken shish to walk. Shish to walk. Oh, well, he said, he said, he said shish to walk. Shish to walk. <laughs> oh, you didn't help me. <laughs> Got a little bit of room service for lunch. Yeah. Tracy got a crispy chicken burger. Yeah. And I got a shish to walk. Chicken shish to walk. <laughs> I would put some onions to it because if mm -hmm. not, you're just going to be eating onions, right? So apparently the chef can make good food even if it's not Indian food. <laughs> so far, mm -hmm. so good. The best part is looking at the menu. It looks so good that like I already know what I'm going to get for supper. <laughs> <laughs> It is this time of the day again, dinner. And let's see what we get tonight. Tracy really wants the Kum Pao chicken. She's been talking about it literally all day. And I think I'm gonna test the chef and order a steak, medium rare, and see if they can do the cooking properly. Because that's a big deal if you're a steak guy like me. So contrary to yesterday, tonight, we left India, but we ordered things from three different sections of the menu. The international for the steak, the Asian from the Kung Pao chicken, and for the appetizer, we get a caprese salad from Italy from the Mediterranean section of the menu. So a little bit of everything. The cheese is so nice and fresh, like it's oh, yeah. really, really nice. Mm. That was so good, so full of flavor. Thank you very much. Tracy's already stealing my mashed potatoes. I didn't even touch anything perfectly yet. perfectly whipped. I couldn't help it. Okay, Tracy, you've been talking about this compound chicken all day. How is it? Hold on. Make it a good bite. Mm, so good. I also like the fact that it's not coated in a bread. So it feels a little healthier to eat. That was really good. If you like spicy, look at this amount of chili they sent. That is intense. Okay, now the ultimate test. Oh, it looks... Oh, yeah. yeah. They actually did it medium. Look at this pink beauty. So for dessert, we went back to India. Um, I forget what these are called, but they're like little milk dumplings with saffron and stuff. We do know that we love them. Hold on, I'm just gonna give Dave his over here. So of course, we are no strangers to the Hayat Regency <laughs> brand. We really like them. We've been to yeah. their hotel all around the world. And this one truly meets the standards. Yeah. Um, the one thing that I love with Hyatt too is their rooms are so spacious while still being minimalistic and beautiful decor. Like we have so much room here if we came with luggages for a week. Yeah you wouldn't worry about it, right? And sometimes hotel rooms are very tiny. And the other thing, like we said earlier in that video, oh, yeah. the food experiences from yeah. the breakfast to the a la carte menu, like my steak tonight yeah. was steakhouse worthy. Like and I so, think so good. That's something with the Hyatt brand in general is you get consistency across the board. We've done them in India, uh, Doha, Nairobi, and one other one we stayed at. I don't remember. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> they are consistent and that's what you're looking for in a brand an yeah. international brand yeah 
So, so yeah, it's very, best gym too. Yeah, best, best gym. gym. So it's very nice to see another flagship for Hyatt yeah. here in East Africa. Apparently, they're gonna open some more in the East African region. So looking forward to yeah. see those. And that's pretty much it because believe it or not, most of you guys don't know, but I do have a real job and I have to go to my <laughs> real job tomorrow morning. So we're gonna go to bed. And yeah, until next time, see you guys. In the next one. <laughs>